How to Apply the Taro Yamane Method in Research To start with, you need to do three, three, steps namely. Step 1 Let's assume the following estimated population for parents, teachers, supervisors and students. And itemize the same below. Category Estimated Population Size Parents 1,800 Teachers 145 Supervisors 65 Students 4,700 Total 6,710 Step 2 The level of significance is also referred to as the error limit. Statistics can never be 100% accurate. So in studying a large population there is a need to adopt a margin of error. This is the measurement of statistical significance. It tells the percentage of confidence in a study. That is, how confident you are with the results of your study. It shows the level of risk associated with a study. Studies with less than 90% level of confidence may not be considered accurate in research. A 5%, 0.05, level of significance is very safe to use. Adopting a 5% significance level means that the p-value is less than 0.05, meaning that out of 100%, you have a confidence level of 95% while there is just a 5% possible error in your research. Let's use a 0.05, 5% level of significance for this. Step 3 Determining the sample size of parents, the following will be obtained n equals n slash 1 plus n e 2 n equals n equals 1800 e equals 5 one hundredths equals 0 0.05 therefore 1801 plus 1 comma 800 0.0025 equals 1 800 fifths point 5 n equals 327.3 the sample size is therefore 327 this represents the number of questionnaires that will be administered to respondents the calculations for each population in the categories that is parents teachers supervisors and students should be done the final figures arrived at have to be rounded up when this is done the following sample sizes will be obtained 327 106 56 and 369